guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always stopping by please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again may god almighty bless you all the nigerian government has been trying so hard everything possible to make sure that they stick that terrorist you know of a thing on the indigenous people of biafra in fact, anything when they just feel do, they won't do them. Record that the Nigerian government have already proscribed them as a, a terrorist group, though international community have not seen them as such. The United Kingdom visa and immigration office in its May 2022 policy update had been quoted out of contest as saying IPOB was proscribed in the UK and its members could not be granted asylum. However, the British High Commission in Abuja has since refuted the claims. In fact, Nigerian government just they happy, they happy on the UK call reply. But today, the indigenous people of Biafra has reacted. The indigenous people of Biafra has accused the Nigerian government of sponsoring a failed international propaganda against its struggle. Reacting in a statement on Sunday, IPOP, through its spokesperson, Emma Parafel, said, The Nigerian government should bury its head in shame for rejoicing over the misinformation purportedly shared by the enemies of Biafra. The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garaba Shew, has said, The UK stance was a welcome development and should be followed up with appropriate actions. Shehu has said, Nigeria welcomed the decision by the United Kingdom to proscribe the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as a terrorist group. The violent secessionist organization has long been proscribed as such in Nigeria, where it carries out majority of its murderous activities. IPOP in the statement said Shehu stands had only confirmed that President Muhammad Buhari's administration was behind the viral misinformation. The group further alleged that the Nigerian government had been sponsoring insecurity and banditry in the southeast region to, de to dehumanize IPOP and ESN, the Eastern Security Network operatives, and falsely present them as a terrorist organization. IPOP statement reads in full. We, at the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, movement worldwide, able led by Mazin Namdekanu, our attention has been drawn to the inaccurate and fake news purporting that the United Kingdom government has classified IPOP as a terrorist organization. We therefore wish to clarify that there is no item of truth in the said malicious fake news planted and being paid out by the enemies of Biafra freedom and indigenous, I beg your pardon, and independence. Nothing more may be said than the clarification already given by the British High Commission in Abuja to, to the effect that the said media report is untrue and should be disregarded. The curiosity and the childish haste with which the Nigerian government celebrated the said fake news, condemning, commending the UK government for the imaginary but non-existent prescription, only confirmed that Mohamed Buhari and his Fulani controlled federal government of Nigeria are behind the fake news. We are calling on British government to change their minds about continuing to humiliate Biafra. This is not just age. The world is going behind those old systems they used to humiliate Biafra at that time. Stone Age has gone, and they should understand that Biafrans are human beings and they must benefit from Biafra when the time comes. Maybe. Fulani terrorist government has forgotten that the UK is not Nigeria where there is no rule of law and due processes. Nigeria, 
literally proscribed IPOP and designated IPOP terror organization while freeing and compensating Fulani bandits, the remarks murderers. What hypocrisy. Nigerian government has been sponsoring insecurity and banditry in Biafra land and continues to link it with IPOP in its, dis, in, its, in its desperation to dehumanize IPOP and ESN operatives and present us as a terrorist organization that we are not. Nigerian case is own citizens like the recent case in Imo State where an army couple was beheaded after the woman was allegedly raped. Can you believe this? All in a bid to nail IPOP and justify the likely military invasion of our land. Nigerian government should hide its face in shame for sponsoring a failed international propaganda against IPOP. They have removed their evil celebration on Twitter. They are using hoodlums to sponsor violence in our land to create the impression that our leader is leading a criminal organization. But they will keep failing. The Nigerian government defends Fulani terrorists and bandits. They hardly talk about their atrocities in the media. But anytime there is a little violence in Biafra land, they will rush to the media to blame IPOP. IPOP had been existing long before those criminals trying to blackmail the good work of IPOP in London for a long time. Nigerian media must be objective in their reportage and ensure they investigate news before giving the public wrong information that is not true. We commend the objective media platforms and enjoin others to emulate them and re resist any attempt by government to be used as a propaganda tool. IPOP's peaceful and non-violent movement seeking to free indigenous Nigerians from the bondage the Fulani put every tribe in Nigeria, not terrorist organization in Nigeria. Well, commending the British High, British High Commissioner for putting the record straight, we still don't know why British government has not come out openly to condemn the numerous abductions, killings, and rape by Fulani bandits and other terrorists in the southeast region, especially the killing in Uguta, okay? The, the, in Uguta of Benue, the southern Kaduna, and the rest in Enugu, the Plateau states and the Middle Bay region since 2014. The British High Commission in Abuja should endeavor to give accurate information about IPOP to her government in UK and resist peddling fake news sponsored by Nigerian government against us. The global world knows how IPOP operates, both in Biafra land and the entire world. It is only proper for the ambassador to give accurate information about freedom seekers based on facts on the ground and not allegations and frame-ups by the Nigerian government. Nigerian government, shame on you. IPOP must win this battle with you. Our great leader, Mazin Namdekano, started and show us the way to move forward to the free land. We advise Biafrans to be, to be focused because Biafra nation is ours, he said. So guys, we've all heard it now. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.